So today, we're going to unbox this. I am thinking this is the, I'm about to get the wrong company, the Easy SMX X05, but man, this packaging sucks, so go ahead and get the plastic off. Oh, it did come in a box. Okay. I was a little worried. I was like, man, this this is not the best packaging. Okay. So now... Oh, this nice sucks. This is not my normal uh, packaging knife, guys. All right. Put that down. So, this is the Easy SMX X05. So, this is their version of a budget Hall Effect stick controller for Switch, Android, PC, and iOS. And Easy SMX, I, I, I'm loving this company for one thing. They, they, they know when they got a repeat customer. Ever since I started dealing with this company beginning of this year and started to take a look at their products, they've always gave me a discount on their stuff. So I had to order this controller specifically off of AliExpress because it's not on Amazon. But you know, I heard about the controller, I saw it on their website and Easy SMX gave me an additional like $3 off to buy the controller, which I just love. So I bought this at AliExpress and originally it was supposed to be 19, uh, no, not even 19.99. I think it was uh, 22 um, hundred. And they gave me an extra $3 off and it ended up being with a, a extra sale that was going on on AliExpress it ended up being like $18 which is crazy but retail price for this thing is supposed to be $29.99 so a little bit more expensive than the GameSir controller that I just looked at recently so there you go let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box all right uh, da -da -da. No frills packaging. Probably got, feels like it got a little damage on the shipping, but no tape. That's a good thing. And I chose a lime green color because I was getting tired of having black controllers. Don't get me wrong. I like the color black, but I wanted something different to distinguish my controllers. So there we go. Easy SMX. So, what do you get? Ooh. Look like we got some cool things out of the pack package. All right. So, I'm going to put the box aside. So, what do you get? You get a controller, which out of the box feel. It's got nice texturized grips on the back. Feels good in the hands. And yes, doing the pull test, that is Hall Effect. Your manual, your Wi Fi dongle, which I prefer Bluetooth. I still need to do the video on why I prefer Bluetooth on, on dongles, but I will do that shortly. A actual included USB C to USB A cable, and, and they gave us some grips right here. That's, that's a rarity. They gave us cap grips. And I don't know what that's in the back. Let's go ahead and open that up. So. That to me is awesome when they, when a company gives you like unwanted extra. Well, not unwanted, but like extras that you didn't know about. I don't know what this is. I guess these are supposed to be like texture strips. 
Somebody on the comments tell me what what exactly is this? But I know for sure these are keycaps. Which talking about that, hold on. Let me uh do another fill of the keycaps real quick to see if they texturized or not. They're, they're, they're a little texturized on the end, so I guess they felt like it's an option if you want keycaps or not to. But out of the box uh, impressions, I like the color. It looks good. It actually feels good in the hands. I wonder if this is going to be like the last easy SMX controller. I don't like the feel of the D-pad, but I remember when I did testing on the X15, the D-pad actually performed well. So we'll see if that this X05, the D-pad performs well. And that's really it. There's a little toggle on the back. I get to switch modes. All right, guys. I'm going to get it in the lab and test it under some games and gamepad tester. And let's see what we have here. First, we're searching, looking at the connection. These things snap back at zero. They're really nice. Really, really nice. Okay. Well, I was wondering because when I did the pull test, I was like, man, these feel right. They're like, they're the right amount of strength in the magnets to where it's like, it feels good, but it's not overpowered. And yo, Easy SMX got it right with this controller. It feels great. So. Let's go ahead and do circularity tests. Okay. So, oh, it corrected itself. So, average error 0.3%. Telling you, we, uh, for those that are watching this video, like, if you get one of these, you, you can tell the difference from like other controllers. This, these feel the, these sticks feel amazing, and seeing that circularity test of 0.3, there you go. Okay, well, there's that. We're gonna go ahead and do the good old game test, guys. All right, back in a moment. During the D-pad test, once again, I will say, Easy SMX knows how to make a D-pad. Despite that I don't like how it feels, the D-pad works flawless. It even passed the Contra test. I did, uh, this time I was holding up and I chose a stage where you could literally see if I get true direct or not. So I'm holding just the up part of the up arrow and I'm rocking on the up part and it does not move. So you get true diagonal on the D-pad, which is great. And I can also say by testing the analog sticks and hell divers, these sticks feel great. I don't feel like I have to like push in to do like any extra movement and all that on like some pass sticks or stuff like that. Such great feeling Hall Effect sticks that just work. And it's great. It's like this controller for the price is really, really good. However, however, no controller is perfect. I do have to say some caveats, some negatives. So one negative I would definitely say with this controller is the fact that when you are playing something like a fighting game and you're using the D-pad, the D-pad is really, really close to the mode button on the controller uh, on the right hand side. So if you're like doing Shoryukens in, or Hadouken movements, like roll forwards and all that, you can easily by accident if you i guess i might roll hard but by accident you can roll and press that mode button and the next minute you know 
uh, your character is doing like a weird shuffle and all that, and you just have to turn it back off. So that's one negative. I wish the D-pad was just a little bit spaced, just spaced a little bit more over, so that way it's not easy to press that move button. Um, some of y'all might think the fact that this controller is a standard controller and not a pro controller is a negative. It does not have extra back buttons in the back. Also, also, another negative if you are, you know, old school and you're doing your line in mic into your controller, this controller does not, and I do repeat, does not have a line in so there you go now the things i really love about this controller i love the texture the texture on this controller is great i love the feel it feels great in your hands like once you get it in your hands it's like oh wow it feels perfect it, it you know like how you got that perfect like playstation or xbox controller when you first get it and it, you feel it in your hands it's like oh this feels good i'm telling you this controller feels good in your hands. I I know some of you don't like RGB, but I like the RGB glow around the analog sticks. It's a nice little subtle feature that I really like, and it's really cool. I'm going to put up some footage right now to kind of show it off. It's kind of hard to show it off during the day, even though I'm going to attempt to on camera. There you go. You can kind of see it right there. But I also got some footage of showing it off at night. So yeah, very subtle glow. And I really like it. Uh, buttons, believe it or not, buttons feel great. Um, they're not mechanical. They're, they're, mush, they're mushy style, but they feel great. Uh, triggers are Hall Effect triggers. So of course they feel great. Like, I like a lot about this controller. And... I'm going to be honest, I think this is going to be my new daily driver. I, I'm going to put the T4 Khaled away. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, the Nova Light away. I actually don't like the Nova Light as a daily driver because it does not go into uh, direct input. It, it, it simulates uh, mouse and keyboard, and that can be annoying when you're going from like application to application. But this controller, this controller is fire. And what I also appreciate about this controller, guys, the fact that it has a toggle for mode on the back. So you can toggle it for RFID, you can toggle it for Bluetooth, or you can toggle it for Android and I iOS use. So you never have an issue about connectivity and all that. And I know some of you would be like, well, Bree, do you, does your fingers ever hit that switch? Believe it or not, no. My fingers have never hit this switch while using this controller. So, there you go. So guys, if y'all don't know, I have every controller from the X line. The only controller that I don't have that's listed right here is the 9013 Pro, but that's because it doesn't have Hall Effect. And I'm going to show you that right here in this list. So, the... So this is the X05, this is the X10, and the X15. So as you can see, uh, what the X5 don't have is back paddles. It's not meant to be a, a pro controller replacement. It's just a nice, like, standard controller. Whereas the X10 and the X15, they have back uh, paddles, so you can have the, the extra controls. The... X05 does not have motion control. The X10 does have motion control, and the X15 does not have motion control. So if you want motion control, you want to grab the X10. Now, backlights. So as I just showed earlier, it does have RGB. The X10 does not. For those that don't like RGB, you can get the the, the basic boy, the X10, and the X15 has uh, some of the coolish styling you have on the controller. Now, a lot of you might think this is a downfall, 
is the fact that none of these controllers have an audio port. But if you already got a headset, that's not a big deal. But if you are playing like something like a, uh, on a Switch or a mobile device and you want to be able to hook up a line in, that might be a deal breaker for you. Just to let you know. Now, the vibration on the XO5 has five levels of adjustment, whereas both the X10 and the X15 only has three levels of adjustment, just so you know. And as you can see, all of these are Hall Effect. And remember I told you I don't have this one? Well, you see why. It's only dual motor. It has normal sticks. Uh, where we want Hall Effect sticks. But it does have Hall Effect triggers, which I find interesting. But I, I'm at the mind of I want all my controllers nowadays to have Hall Effect sticks. So there you go. Just to see a quick comparison against all the easy SMX controllers. I'm just going to say that easy SMX X05, even though it's not a pro controller replacement or something you want to use for a standard issue controller for your PC, PC handheld, mobile devices, and Switch. It is a very good controller. Now, Switch people might get mad that it's not in the Switch layout. It's in PC layout, but other than that, controller is solid. Controller is solid. All right, guys, that is it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit your boy with a like if you like this video. If not, I'm not going to hurt you. Support your boy. Links are in the bio. Until next time, peace, love, stay gaming, my friends.